everyone and welcome to Resident of Tech once again. You've probably seen my previous video which was the unboxing of the 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. In case you haven't seen that video, uh, simply click on this annotation or the link in the description and you will be taken to that video. So in my previous video I promised you all a benchmark test of the 15 inch 2013, late 2013, top of the line Retina MacBook Pro. So yes, this is it. This is the benchmark test. So. What can you say besides enjoy, enjoy the scores or the numbers or, you know, simply enjoy the video. Okay, so taking a closer look at the specs of my machine. So in case you don't know, this one comes with a Core i7. Yes, Intel Core i7 has well quad core CPU, 2.3 gigahertz with turbo boost of up to 3.5 gigahertz. So yes, that's a beast of a CPU. It also comes with 16 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz memory, 512 gigabytes of PCIe flash. Yes, that is the fastest flash storage on the market. Actually the fastest storage on the market as of November of 2013. It also comes with the Intel Iris Pro graphics, uh, which is basically the Intel HD 5200 as well as NVIDIA's GT 750M with 2 gigabytes of dedicated memory and GDDR5. Now, in case you don't know, this GPU is supposed to outperform the GTX 660 because it's a GDDR5 GPU instead of a GDDR3. Okay, so first off, we are going to do a CPU benchmark using Geekbench. Okay, so hopefully you can see this in the video. This is the 64-bit test I'm going to do. Yes, Geekbench 2 Pro. So I'm using the latest version of Geekbench and I'm going to test it on my 2013, late 2013, 15 inch Mac Pro. And before starting the test, I just wanted to show you that all of my apps have been closed. I'll only just close, well, whoops, I forgot to close so far. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, all of the apps have been closed now except for uh, 2D monitor and Skype, yes. <laughs> okay, so all of the apps have been closed now. And I'm going to turn off automatic graphic switching as well. So in this case, my MacBook Pro will only use the uh, dedicated NVIDIA 750M graphics all the time. Okay, so let's start the benchmarks. So run benchmarks. Okay, so there we go, the benchmark has finished and my MacBook Pro got a score of 14,000, which is simply mind-blowing. Keep in mind that my old MacBook Pro uh, got a score of around 2 to 3,000. So yes, the difference is simply mind-blowing. Now, comparing my 14,000 score to uh, different computers, you can see that uh, the highest score is 26,000, well, actually almost 27,000, which was achieved by a 2010, apparently. Uh, Mac Pro, which I believe is a hack and dot. Now, apparently the 2013 late iMac 27 inch iMac uh, Got pretty much the same score as I did and as you can see a 15 inch Retina Mac Pro uh, Late 2013 got a score of uh, 1400 462 now. I believe this is the model which comes with the 2.6 gear CPU uh, i7 CPU So yes, this was the upgraded version anyway You can definitely tell how high the score is when compared to old models old Mac models. Next up we will be doing a Cinebench test and test out the graphic performance of the MacBook Pro. So let's open up Cinebench and see how many frames per second we are going to get in the OpenGL test. So one, two, three, go. So yes, this is the OpenGL test in Cinebench. So as you can see, you can see a white car on the screen. So basically this test does a high quality, top of the line, top notch, whatever you want to call it, 3D simulation. Yes, we have a black car. Or maybe that's blue, no idea what that color is, let me know in the comment section down below. So yes, the black car is chasing the white one apparently. So they are doing a race and at the end of this video you will get to see the frames per second that the uh, the NVIDIA 750M managed to achieve in this uh, OpenGL benchmark test. So yes, the white car apparently won, the developers were racist and yes, the white car won. Uh, it pretty much smashed the, the black one or the blue one. Okay, so as you can see, the MacBook Pro got 54 frames per second, which is not bad. Now, I have to say, uh, the first time I ran this test, I got 58 frames per second. So yes, the average should be around 55 frames per second, which is pretty, pretty good. Now, keep in mind that my old MacBook, my 2011 MacBook Pro, got a score of about 9, about 7 to 9, between 7 and 9 frames per second, which is uh, absolutely ridiculous. 
And let's do a CPU test as well in uh, Cinebench and see how many points we are going to get for a CPU test. So for a CPU test, this one basically renders a high definition, a high quality image. And then the score, which you will get at the end of the simulation, is based on the time. So the faster the CPU renders this image, the better the score will be. Okay, so there we go, we got a score of 606, which is really, really good. Now keep in mind that, once again, my old MacBook Pro got a score of 200, so uh, yes, the difference is simply, simply mind-blowing. Now, if we take a look at other devices, uh, this is basically our device 606, uh, the desktop 3.4 i7 CPU got a bit higher score, got a score of 662, which isn't that uh, huge of a difference. And then the Xeon, yes, the 12 core Xeon got a score of 1200, yeah, which is simply, simply insane. And then if we take a look at uh, the OpenGL test, you can see that the Intel HD 4000, which uh, comes in the Intel Iris, got only 9 frames per second. Now, keep in mind that in my old MacBook, I had the Intel HD 3000, which is actually lower, uh, actually weaker than this one. So that's apparently the GTX, which is kind of weird. The GTX 460 got a score of almost 60 frames per second, which is kind of weird because NVIDIA is saying that the 750M, which is the graphics card in this one, uh, the GDDR5 model, which once again comes in this MacBook Pro, is actually faster than the GTX 660, and apparently the 460 got the higher score. In this one which is kind of weird but anyway keep in mind that 54 frames per second and 606 points for the cpu test is simply simply insane for such a computer which is basically thinner than my finger and pretty much almost as thin as my iphone okay next up we will be doing a disk speed test using the black magic speed test okay so hopefully you can see this on the camera i'm going to do a 5 gigabyte stress test on my 512 gigabytes PCIe flash uh, storage. So let's take a look and see how fast the PCIe flash storage actually is. So one, two, three, go. So as you can see, we are getting about 720 megabytes, not megabits, megabytes per second write speeds, uh, and about the same for the read speeds. Now, some users have reported that they actually got about 1.3 gigabytes, not gigabits, gigabytes per second read speeds, which is simply insane. Now, I have no idea how they managed to get that speed, uh, because apparently I'm not getting that. Anyway, the previous model got speeds of around 400 megabytes per second for a read speed and about 300 for a write speed, which means that the difference between non-PCIe and PCIe flash storage is simply mind-blowing. So at 700 megabytes per second for both the read and write speeds is simply, simply astonishing. So if you take a closer look at the formats and the video formats which the Mac Pro can read and write, you can see that it can basically read and write anything, even 2K video at 25 frames per second. Now apparently it has some problem with 1080p 59.95 frames per second, which is kind of weird. Anyway, this might be just a bug in Blackmagic speed test, because once again it can read 2K video without any problems and for some reason uh, tells me that it cannot read 1080p at 60 frames per second. And finally, we are going to end this video with a Nova Bench test. So in case you don't know, Nova Bench is a free benchmark which can be downloaded from the App Store for free. Now, in case you don't know, the reason why I am recording all of the benchmark tests on camera instead of using a screen recording software is because the screen recording software will take up some resources. And I want my MacBook Pro to get the best and the most accurate results in the benchmarks. So let's start up the Nova Bench. So one, two, three, start tests. Okay, so as you can see, the Nova Bench benchmark has finished and uh, we got a score of 1219, which is pretty good. Now for the RAM, we got a speed of almost 10 gigabytes, uh, sorry, yeah, 10 gigabytes, 10 gigabytes per second, almost, which is kind of weird. I didn't know that the RAM memory was so fast. For the CPU test, we got a score of 747 and for the graphics test, we got 603 frames per second which is insane, which is unbelievable, which is unreal, but yes, this is how many frames per second we got. And for the flash story test, we got speeds of 295 megabytes per second write speed, which once again is kind of weird because in Blackmagic speed test, we got speeds of over 700 megabytes per second, and here we only got 300 megabytes, which once again is kind of weird. But yes, this was basically, this was the benchmark test of the 15-inch Redcam MacBook Pro, so 
yes thank you all for watching this video don't forget to like this video if you have enjoyed it tells me that you enjoyed this video and i'll keep making more videos like this one also don't forget that i will be uploading a lot more videos of the retina Viper pro such as the full review the full gaming test so yes i'm going to test battlefield 4 call of duty ghost assassin's creed black flag which is Assassin's Creed 4, GTA 5 when it comes out in Crisis 3, all of the top games on the Retina Mac Pro, so stay tuned for the gaming test video, which should be up on my channel in the next couple of days. So speaking of those videos, if you want to see those videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Zone of Tech. It is free, you don't have to pay for anything, and you'll get to see my latest and greatest videos on the Retina MacBook Pro. Also, don't forget to check me out on Facebook, follow me on Twitter by Zone of Tech. And before I leave, I have a question for you, which is what's your current configuration? What laptop, what computer, what desktop do you have at the moment? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what are the specs of your machine. So, yeah, this has been pretty much it. The benchmarks, the full benchmarks of the 2013, late 2013, 15-inch top-of-the-line Mac Pro. So, thank you all for watching this video. And, yes, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, you know, like as always, Zenoftech, signing out. Cheers. Oh,